Today we are going to carry out a simple exercise in one of the CBC activities in the integrated science subject. This is for grade 7. The exercise we are going to carry out is uh, about separation of uh, substances which are mixed together. In this particular case, we are going to come up with uh, an apparatus whereby we have made from locally available materials to separate water and salt from its solution. So we are going to use this Oxford Integrated Active Integrated Science book. The exercise we are going to carry out is on page 69. So we are going to carry out this exercise. We are going to try and come up with this particular simple distillation setup using locally available materials. Stay put and uh, follow us through. From this particular illustration as uh, drawn here, we have come up with this one as our retort stand. This is our retort stand. Next, we have an arm that is linking the retort stand to the glass tube. This one is going to be our arm from our locally available material. We're going to use this one as uh, the arm linking the retort stand to the glass material. And then we're going to use this one as the boiling tube. For this particular case, we're going to use this glass bottle, uh, formerly used for medication purpose, as our glass tube. And then we are going to use a set of straws, a set of straws as our delivery tube. Then we will use this particular plastic bottle as our boiling tube to collect the distillate from the condensate as, an, uh, as a condensate. Then we are going to use this uh, jar cut from uh, a 10 liter bottle plastic to act as our holder for the ice cold water. Now we are going to mix the salt with water to make a salt water solution. Then we are going to add water into that particular salt that we have put into this particular plastic jar. We want the solution to be conch. So we will stir that particular solution to a point whereby almost a good percentage of this particular salt has dissolved. We're going to shake it up, shake it up a bit. We are stirring it up to ensure that the solid part of the salt is completely dissolved into the solution that we have a conch salt water solution. Now this one that is now ready, we are going to put it into the boiling tube. Now here we are pouring into this particular. Now here we have some enough, enough volume for experimentation. From the drawing, from the drawing here we see this uh, a piece of cork that is supposed to shield any evaporation of water from a, from going into the atmosphere but direct it directly into the delivery tube. So in this particular case, we are going to use this particular piece of rubber made from the, just the student's uh, pupil's uh, rubber, normal rubber. We are going to use it as cork and then we are going to put it onto the brim of our boiling tube. In this particular case, this is our boiling tube. So we are going to fix it there as the cork. This one will assist the water that is evaporating not to go into this atmosphere. Next, we're going to uh, assemble the retort stand, the holding arm up to that particular height. Next, we're going to take our boiling tube that we've just shown you how we've come up with it to put it into the holding stand there. Then you push it inside push it a little bit harder yeah that's okay that's okay here now we have our retort stand connected to the connecting arm 
and then onto our boiling tube. This particular pliers here is just used to balance it, not for it not be able to tilt over. Next, you're going to assemble. Next, you're assembling our delivery tube using up uh, some three pieces of straw. So on one end of the delivery tube, we're going to insert it into the cork. Remember the cork that we talked about? And then on the other end, you're going to put the, the collecting jar for the, for the distillate for the condenser that will be coming from uh, the evaporated water from the solution. Now here we have this particular arrangement. Next we're going to use this particular jar that you've just cut from a 10 liter or is it 5 liter jar to use as our holding jar for the ice cold water and then we're going to put the boiling tube inside like that and then we will put some water we don't have exactly ice water but we'll just put water at normal temperature into that particular jar so here this is our arrangement almost complete almost complete the setup is almost complete you're almost done.